With regard to the um, injuries unit, the small injuries, going to the minor injuries unit, ambulatory, I have a question. Um, I can't see any other place to ask it. I have a very good American friend who went to Gosport War Memorial and was treated, uh, she named the officer's wife, and she said, right, how much do I pay? And they said, we, we don't know. There's no, she said, but I must be, I must pay. And they said, no, we have no mechanism to do that. And she said that they said that this happens on a number of occasions. Um, so I'm just wondering if this is a way of getting some money. Uh, I only brought this up because she walked into the uh, Gosport War Memorial place and had excellent care. Um, but I don't think it's as pretty as the ones in the, in the States, but, you know, it's... So, so we have what's called reciprocal payment arrangements with a number of particularly first world European nations. So if, uh, if I have an emergency in Spain, for example, uh, I'll go into Spain and show my EED card, and they'll note that down, and then ultimately they'll add up all those, and they'll, they'll charge the British government for the treatment. And, and we do... <laughs> and we do the same with Spain, and we do the same with America. But, uh, I didn't know about America, because, uh, I mean, I know about the EU, and it's, it's worked beautifully in Spain, but people have to pay for it. Uh, I, I, I think there is a reciprocal arrangement okay. there, but I will check. I mean, so far as, um, but that, it won't extend to immediate urgent emergency care, it won't extend to any ongoing care and treatment. Okay. But I think in America we do have a reciprocal arrangement, and by individuals are noted and reported, uh, and that there is a real payment across uh, for any agent that's care of the case.